demos. Now, I don't want to make any assumptions, but I'm assuming that there might be a few of you out there who are thinking, look, with the demo, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to make a demo, pop it on the Steam Festival, let people play it, get a thousands of wish lists, and once the game comes out, boom, I'm making millions. And you know what? It's not bad of a plan, but you can make it better. And that's where I come in. The demo, it does take a bit of time and money and effort and stress. So why don't you milk the most out of it? Here, today, that's what I want to do. I want to show you my milking techniques for the demos. So, who am I? Here's my pitch. My name is Mihal and I'm a video games marketer and owner of a video games marketing agency called 3233. I've been working on games for over 8 years, ranging from big AAA titles all the way to premium indies. And today, I will show you my 5 step demo marketing plan. A step by step guide on getting the most bang for your buck from your demo. So without further ado, here it is. Here's Mihal Naporo's 5 step demo plan. Just promise me you're gonna keep it just for yourself. Don't share it with anyone, just, just between you and me, okay? Alright, I trust you. So, check it out, here it is. Now as you can see, when thinking about your demo, don't just think about the players. Your demo can be of interest to more than just them. You should also think about two very other important stakeholders, so to speak, of your marketing campaign, which is the good old press and the good old influencers. Now, both, both of these stakeholders have different needs, wants, and also attitudes to your preview slash demo. So let me go one by one for each step and talk a little bit about the needs of these so-called stakeholders. Step one, show preview to select the top tier sites. So this one might be a bit tricky as it depends a lot on your game's clout, as in its popularity and its coolness within the whole gaming sphere, as well as your timings on the calendar. For example, if it's a AAA season, well, forget about it. No journalist is going to cover a demo with so many AAAs coming out. But one thing is certain, if you want your game's demo or preview to be covered by the press, your best chance in coverage is to give them the demo first. If your demo is already public, well, that's old news. If influencers have shown it, that's old news as well. So give journalists and the press the first dibs on the demo, which is called the exclusive. This will give you the best chance of getting coverage from them. Press, well, they like showing things first. That's, it's called the news for a reason. Step two, written previews go live. So once you give your demo to select the press, and once the embargo date goes live, fingers crossed, you should have some good, solid previews being published. Now at this stage, you might also get some more requests from other sites for a demo. If you want, you can give access to them. If you don't, that's fine too. Just use your judgment here. But one tip I really want to give you is, well, actually there's two tips that I want to give you. First tip, tip number one, prepare B-roll of cut up scenes from a game so that the press can use it. Provide footage that best represents your game and shows your unique selling points. And if any site asks if they can show the full playthrough they've recorded, don't be shy to politely say no. Tell them to use the B-roll instead. And why is that? Well, I'll tell you that in step three. But before I forget, one more thing. Those previews articles, well, they're not just a great marketing beat in itself. The quotes from previews can be used as materials in your trailers as well. Now right now, I'm seeing that the demo trailer is a thing all of a sudden. You know, a little video showing that this game that's being promoted has a demo that you can download at the Steam Fest. Well, the demo trailer is the perfect place to put those quotes in if you ask me. And of course, launch trailers. Popping in something nice about your game from someone else, well, that's not gonna hurt you either. Nothing builds validity and shows that your game is good as a nicely worded positive statement from a critic or an influencer. Step three, release video of your demo playthrough as an exclusive. So once you had some nice coverage with some really nice press quotes, fingers crossed, it's time to do my favorite move. So take that demo, record a playthrough of it. Make it the best recording you can. Make it smooth as butter. Perhaps, at the end, once you finish it, add a bit of commentary. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's up to you and see how you feel. And then take that video and pitch it as an exclusive reveal with one of the biggest sites. Exclusive gameplay reveal is always a very tempting snack. 
pitch it around and who knows who might take a bite. Step four, give preview to influencers. Now that you got all that you can out of your demo of the press and you milked it out on that front, it's time to move to the influencers. YouTubers and streamers, well, they're a little bit easier to satisfy. They are not as exclusivity sensitive as the press. Having positive previews in the press about your demo might actually work in your favor too. They might notice that your game is getting a bit of a praise in the press and it might make them be a bit more inclined to cover your game on their channels. Now, here's a couple of heads up. One, make sure your demo is pretty solid. Some YouTubers can go to town, meaning they can destroy it completely if your demo has bugs and glitches. Make sure the demo is also understandable and it has some polish. Remember, if it's on YouTube, it's gonna be there for a long time. There's a big chance that your great grandkids and great great grandkids, they're gonna be looking at your demo thinking, wow, I can't believe my ancestor made this. Is it a positive or a negative statement? Well, that's all gonna rely on you. Now, also make sure that the demo is not yet available to the public. Once again, it's a bit more enticing for influencers to play something that normal people don't have access to. That's one of the reasons why people tune into influencers, to see games in action that are not available to play just yet. Step number five, Steam Games Fest and other public events. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the final step of the five step plan. Here is the big kahuna, the moment that we and hopefully the public has been waiting for. Now that your demo has made a bit of a splash with the press and also with the influencers, it's time to let the public in on the fun. Hopefully, your game and its demo have raised a bit of awareness by now and that you've got a bit of a player base that's, you know, excited to actually play the demo themselves. Remember, it's easier to convince someone to try something that they've heard is good as opposed to trying something they've never heard of before. The previous hype that you built behind, hopefully it should help your demo roll on and give you even more traction and all those wish lists during the wonderful Steam Fest. Now, I've got a few bonus words here for you. If you can, showcase at the Steam Fest that's the closest to your game's full release date. Now the reason being, the more wish lists you have, the higher will your demo be ranked on the Steam Fest most wishlisted charts. Be on that chart, and my friend, you'll be swimming in gold, metaphorically, or maybe later, even literally. And of course, you can use this demo for any physical events coming up too. If they're slowly making a comeback, you know. Now, if you're looking for a publisher or an investor in your game, having the demo early on Steam might be the way to go. But if it's purely about wish lists and not the money, the later you can be, the better it is. So this is it. This is the Mihanapura 5-step plan. Now, as you can see, it's not that complicated or it's not that hard to execute, but no matter how well you do this five-step plan, if your demo sucks or it stinks, or it might be even average, well, this ain't gonna help you out much either. So, best thing to do is make sure the demo that you have is polished, it's spot on, it's a, it just has to be beautiful. Because at the end of the day, that's your demo, that's your business card. That's the first impression that people are gonna have of your game and actually, while they're actually playing it. So make sure that your demo uses quality, both technically and in content. Make sure that the demo shows your game's USPs, that it leaves people wanting more, leaves them on a bit of a cliffhanger, and it leaves them with a positive impression, and obviously a nice call to action, or well, that won't hurt you either. And if you can, make the demo have a hook. Maybe you can go for that classic, you only have one go hook, a la the Resident Evil 2 remake demo. Or, the players with the top 5 scores recorded during the Steam Fest, well, they'll get the game for free. So, get it on it, and download it. Incentivize, incentivize my friend. Remember, you're not the only person with a demo that's around. There's another 699 demos being shown at Steam Games Fest, and I don't think anyone has time to play all of them. So good luck with your demo, and demo away my friend. I hope it's gonna bring you thousands of wish lists, millions of impressions, articles just coming out left, right, and center, and just pretty much the whole world going nuts over your game. And by the time you bring it out and it comes out, you'll become a millionaire. So I wish that upon you, my friend. Now, if you like this video and you want to learn maybe a little bit more about video games marketing, then subscribe to my channel. It would be cool for me, but no pressure. It, it's, it's, it's fine. 
So with that note, thanks so much for watching. We'll chat soon and peace.